Hi, I'm Lori. Welcome back to the Pantyhose Review. Today is our eighth installment episode about wearing pantyhose under shorts. This fashion actually uh, originates from the late 60s and 70s and has returned the 21st century among young women. The fashion of wearing pantyhose with shorts and pants is not a new one and dates back to the 1960s. In that period, it was really popular for women to wear nylons over their legs. So basically, they didn't wear uh, bare legs unless they were going to the beach, picnicking, that type of thing. Otherwise, it was the norm to wear pantyhose under shorts, uh, short skirts, long dresses, um, and any, anything else you're wearing, slacks or the sort. Um, it was considered unsightly at that time and a breach of uh, fashion etiquette to um, not wear nylons. Towards the late 1960s, the hip hugger fashion uh, came into style among young women, but at that time they weren't wearing them quite the way we're wearing them now. They weren't jean cutoffs, they were more tailored uh, short shorts, typically of cotton or, or polyester. The colors in keeping with the psychedelic 60s were frequently colorful in pastels or bright colors like bright blue, bright yellow, kind of the colors that we associate with the 60s. Hot pants were hot, chic, sexy, and fashionable. Naturally legs had to be covered so pantyhose were the option. Um, at that time the pattern temp pantyhose that we see today were not quite as popular. Um, but they were wearing uh, the bright colors that we are seeing return this year in 2012. Uh, the yellow, the purple, the red nylons. Young women back then could decide to wear basic common pantyhose colors um, like tan, beige, uh, black, or the um, solid color pantyhose such as the blue, pink, um, magenta, or other feminine colors. Here I have some examples um, that are retro packages from the 60s and 70s. Here we have a sheer to waist um, opaque pantyhose and this one is in a bright navy blue. And actually I think she's dressed very similarly to me. <laughs> so this goes to show you that uh, the fashion that is in style today uh, is coming from this era. Here's the back of the package. Here we have some more retro packages. This one is a uh, regular ultra sheer legs with reinforced panty and this is a uh, nude nylon. And this is what, what a lot of women in the 60s would be wearing under their short skirts or their shorts. Here we have one from Canada. Miss Canada one size pantyhose all sheer. I like that uh, little advertisement. Her pose is really cute. And there's the back. And this one actually looks like it's not in the um, advertised color, which is the tan. This looks like it's also in a brighter navy blue type color. Oh, here it says it's called moody blue. And here we have one more package, um, retro package. It says sheer to waist pantyhose and this one looks like a darker um, tan color so a young woman back then yes could decide if they wanted to wear um, tan, beige, um, taupe or the uh, brighter colors as we talked about um, there is evidence that the pattern pantyhose existed in the 60s and 70s, but they definitely were not as popular as they are nowadays. But they did exist, so I guess current trend is we're taking some of those influences from back then, but just changing them up a little bit, as fashion usually goes. Now we're returning to 2012, where shorts are worn again, but I see this often under jean shorts, not just the tailored uh, black or tan type shorts that were more popular in the 60s and 70s. Young women have taken to wearing nylons under the shorts and often the color is black or a black textured pattern. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the trends that I see in the area that I'm living at. 
where people are very fashion conscious, fashion forward. Here is a um, premium pattern tight by Morona, who's a popular brand nowadays. So as you can see, it's like a darker black, but it has the um, textured pattern. And I would say in the area that I live in, the young women are wearing those under kind of like a tattered, tattered jean short. So something like this. And here's another example of, of a tight, premium pattern tight. This one's like a lighter gray black. Has a lot of texture. And again, I can see them wearing it under uh, something like this. These shorts are actually from Victoria's Secret and are called the Victoria's Secret hipster shorts. So this is kind of that hipster look, which I see accompanied with the uh, textured or non-textured black tights. And as you can see, what I'm wearing right now is also a textured tight. This is a gray and black pattern. And I chose to wear those with boots today. However, you could wear them with a smaller shoe as well. So I'm actually going to put that on so you can see the difference of the look. So this is just a regular black pump. I think nowadays I see people do it either or um, with the boots or the pumps. I think in the 60s probably they wore a lot of boots. But nowadays, you know, we change our foot options a lot. So I think you can go either way. Boots, pumps, um, suede boots. There's a lot of different options. So I'm actually going to stand up and demonstrate my whole outfit to you. These are some cotton tailored shorts. And these are from American Apparel, who has a lot of, um, you know, trendy, hip uh, clothing. And these are high-waisted, which are, uh, I think, similar to how they had in the late 60s and 70s. And here I have my tailored jacket with it to make it a little more businessy. But I could also dress this outfit down if I wanted. I could put a more relaxed t-shirt. Um, I could possibly, you know, wear flatter shoes, some ballerina flats or something with my textured tights and my shorts and uh, dress down the look. Or this is a more businessy option. Um, I've also seen some girls wearing the pattern tights and shorts with strappy sandals. It used to be that women wearing pantyhose with strappy sandals was considered faux pas. But I guess, you know, fashion moves in cycles and what is considered wrong becomes okay. I see women go all different ways with it and a lot of the time that's considered trendy to break some rules. So the synopsis of um, this video is also just to let you know that um, you know, the current fashion of today is deriving from the 60s and 70s. I think a lot of the girls think that it's a new phenomenon, but actually uh, a lot of the styles we're seeing today are coming from the 60s and 70s. Uh, I think we recognize that in our hairstyles, but not in our pantyhose. Uh, the 60s and 70s has influenced, influenced us a lot in the style that we're wearing currently in 2011-2012. And uh, I, for one, definitely enjoy the pantyhose look. Keeps you warm, it looks classy, you can change it up a lot. And there are so many different options nowadays. installment of the pantyhose review. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the textured patterns and black pantyhose, nude, beige, and bright colors worn today uh, with shorts. Thanks for watching.